everybody knew that giving birth can be painful for women. Nobody ever asked the question, how is it for the child? was a question I started asking myself <clears throat> and asking myself, but how is it that the poor child is screaming when it's born? He should be so happy to be out of its prison. He can move, he can stretch. He should say, oh, but it's fantastic to be born. Huh? And, and children are desperate. And the urschrei, the primal scream is a, is a scream of complete distress. So at this where, as it were, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a cry of complete despair. So I started asking myself, but why, why, why? And little by little, I paid attention to the child, and slowly, 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 it took years and years. I had the privilege and the joy of having children born who would start playing, discovering the true nature of life. Life is playing. It's got no purpose. Life is not after achieving anything. Life is just playing. And play is the essence of life. Life is playing. And I could see children who were opening their eyes, looking, looking, and looking, as I'm looking at you, with such an intensity, once you have met the eyes of a newborn baby, really, it hits you in the heart. It doesn't look like a newborn, it looks very ancient. Exactly, absolutely. So my whole book was painless, or rather, birth without violence. The title is not absolutely perfect, all right. But it was all about how does it feel to be born. And this memory is with each one of us, but it's so dreadful that it's buried deep at the bottom of the unconscious. It all depends on the relationship between the woman and the child. Huh? This, this travel, this adventure, this sailing through the storm is something, it's an adventure that the two of them are living or going through together. So the only secret is that the mother and the child must be continuously in touch, communicating. Is it all right like this? Is it all right like that? Not with words, of course. Communion. Exactly. In exactly. Silence. And whenever there is any kind of anesthesia, this relationship is broken. Now I'm going to tell you a very beautiful story. Very difficult. It cannot be understood, but it's a fact. Mm. During labor, it happens at times that the opening of the cervix stops. Meaning to say labor is not progressing anymore. What happens is that most of the time, the doctor is going to put a drip, use medicine and so on. And that's not the answer. No. The answer, and this, I had it from a woman, otherwise I would not be able to invent it. It is for the woman to talk to the child and tell the child now, come on, pull yourself together, be brave, leave me. And the child understands when there is no language yet. So it is a communication from heart to heart which bypasses language. 
and it's really a fact, and it's such an extraordinary fact. It's for, and it's it's the woman who has been telling me, and then immediately, the opening of her cervix is completed. It's for the woman to to talk to her child and say, now come on, be brave, pull yourself together. You have to go. You have to leave me. Come on. And it happens. And it happens. So it's a and it is no language with, yet. Communion with the mother. Exactly. Communion. It, it is what, what they call talking from heart to heart. From a very practical mm -hmm. point of view, it all depends on your breathing, on your breath. Mm -hmm. If a woman tries to stop the process, she is holding her breath. Mm -hmm. If on the contrary and she keeps... And the child keeps, feel it. Of course. Yeah. If on the contrary she keeps... Uh, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out with the sound, then she enters into a totally different experience. Inhale does not belong to you. No. You have a right only to pushing the air out. Oh. Oh, eh, ah, and together with the movement. Okay. Together with it. And the best way to learn all this is from martial arts. Mm. So women have to be told, instead of talking about relaxation, feel relaxed, no. They have to feel like a samurai. So what's the connection with the martial art? And, uh, ah, because with the practice of martial arts, mm. two things. One, you come face to face with death. And it's true, again, this is what women have been telling me, and time and again, at a certain point of labor, the woman has got the feeling, now I'm going to die. The same like the child too? Hmm? The child also comes no, 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 not no, different? No, 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 but the mm -hmm. woman has got the feeling, now I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. And she accepts in order to save the child. And what dies is not her body. It is a sense of separation, the feeling that the little ego, no, suddenly it vanishes. And the moment it vanishes, she becomes a, a boundless, a limitless, exactly like life. Enough now, enough. let's go to the films. Yes. We have said enough. In fact, we have said far too More much. than enough, yeah.